Hey guys, today we're going to be making some Chinese style beef and broccoli. Yes, you can make this at home. And it's a relatively simple and easy dish to make, believe it or not. You do not have to go out to the Chinese store and waste money buying you some beef and broccoli. It's really good and it's really convenient. If you want to be lazy, you can do it that way. But I'm going to show you guys how to make beef and broccoli. What you're going to need is some carrots. That is optional though. You don't have to have carrots. Usually when you get beef and broccoli from the store, you notice they have little strips of carrots. I'm going to show you guys how to cut your carrots up the way the Chinese folks do in the Chinese store. Okay. You're going to need a bag of broccoli. You can use fresh broccoli, but I find that using frozen broccoli is just easier. It saves you time. So get a bag of frozen broccoli. If you want to use fresh broccoli, get a big stalk of fresh broccoli and just chop it up into small pieces. Okay. Um, and you're going to need a steak. Now what you can do is you can actually get a piece of steak. Um, get you more of a, a tender brand of steak. Don't get you no really tough steak. Get you a tender brand of steak. Or you can go to the store and get you like some steak strips. Boneless steak strips. That's what I got here. Okay. And um, these are already chopped up. Already rinsed them off with some salt and some water. So you can get this if you don't want to chop a piece of steak up. But you're going to chop them up into like little beef squares. Okay. So that's what you're going to need. Now I'm going to show you guys the seasons and condiments that you're going to need. Okay, so we can make this beef and broccoli dish. Okay, guys, so now we're going to talk about the condiments and the seasons that you're going to need to make your beef and broccoli. You're going to need about a can of beef broth. Make sure you get a can of beef broth. We're going to need the beef broth to make our gravy. Okay, that's going to help with making the gravy. Also, the suey sauce that we have here and the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce is optional. I recommend that you get it. It just makes it come out better. It tastes better with oyster sauce and soy sauce. Um, but we're going to be using the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, and the beef broth to make our gravy. Okay? That's what we're going to use to make our gravy. Um, we're going to season the beef with some garlic powder. You're not going to use much of that. You're going to also... Um, need some ground ginger. Only going to use a very small amount of that. Okay, you want to be cautious with the amounts of seasonings that you use. It's a very powerful season. Okay, now what you have over here is uh, some black pepper. You're going to need some black pepper. You're going to need some salt. As I always say, I don't have no sea salt, so I'm going to use some of that. You want to get a salt that's not iodized salt. Okay, you're going to need some minced garlic. Now you can go out and get a fresh piece of garlic and get about three garlic cloves chop it up into really small pieces and use that but if you want to go the easy route you can just get you a bottle of minced garlic it's all the same um you're going to need some cornstarch do not use flour so if you don't have cornstarch you might want to get some because that's going to be your uh thickening agent is going to help to thicken the sauce so we're going to need that and you're going to need some brown sugar we're going to talk about the amounts that you're going to be using later it does vary it really does vary okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to focus on our vegetables and we're going to steam boil you our carrots and our broccoli so let's focus on that now okay so let's focus on how you cut the carrots we're going to cut the carrots down this side like that Okay, then you're going to cut it like this, sideways. This way. So you want it to look like that. Then you're going to cut it like this. You're not going to use much. If you like carrots, you can use a lot of carrots. I don't use a lot of carrots. Then you're going to just cut little small slices like this, like that. So you want your carrots to look about that size, all right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to steam boil them a little bit with the broccoli. Okay, guys, so we're only going to steam these for about five to seven minutes. You don't want to overcook them. So get your pot of water and place it over medium high heat. Okay, it's not going to take long. We're going to add our carrots to the water. And we're going to add some broccoli to the water as well. How much broccoli you use is totally 
up to you. You like a lot of broccoli, use a lot of broccoli. If you don't like a lot of broccoli, don't use a lot of broccoli. Just let that steam boil you for five minutes and then cut it off, all right? So we're gonna let them steam boil you for five minutes, then you're gonna sit them aside in the bowl. Okay guys, so while our broccoli and our carrots are boiling, what we're gonna do is we're going to marinate and season our beef, okay? Okay, so here's our meat. We're going to let this marinate a little while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some soy sauce to this. We're gonna add about three tablespoons of soy sauce. So it's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Okay, it should look like that. I'm gonna just stir that in. And the beef is going to soak up all of that suey sauce. Okay. So suey sauce is already salty. So we're not going to add a lot of salt to this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add about one tablespoon of salt. About a small tablespoon, not a big one. About that much there. Okay. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder about that much there you're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ginger half a teaspoon of ginger And you're going to add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to blend that all in. And we're going to allow it to marinate. I didn't add a lot of seasons. That's why I only added a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of that. Because you don't want to over season this, okay? It's enough season in the suey sauce and the oyster sauce. Okay, you just want to make sure that this is marinated in the suey sauce and marinated in the season. All right, so we're going to set this aside. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our sauce. And it's two steps to making the sauce. It's two things that you have to do, okay? What we're going to do first is we're going to get a bowl. I have a bowl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add first to this bowl the oyster sauce. And there's no specific amount that you have to use. Okay, but I'm going to use about... Let's say one-fourth cup. So one fourth cup is about four tablespoons. Okay, we're gonna start off with that. And I'm going to use about one fourth cups of suey sauce, so four tablespoons of suey sauce. Okay. And then I'm going to add about one fourth cups of beef broth.
Okay, now what I'm going to do now is we're going to get our brown sugar. We're going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar to this. Okay, and you're going to stir that in. Okay, and that's our sauce. Now, here's a second step to making the sauce. You want that to thicken up and you want to create like a slurry. So to create a slurry, because you need a thickening agent. What we're going to use is we're going to use about one tablespoon of cornstarch. This is our one tablespoon of cornstarch. And we're going to add to that about two to three tablespoons of beef broth. You can use water if you want. And we're going to stir this in. And now we're going to add that to our sauce. And we're going to give that a stir, stir that in. So when we cook this, this is going to create a thick sauce for the beef and broccoli. Okay. It's going to allow this to thicken up once the heat hits it. Okay, guys. So now it's time to fry the beef. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a pan and place it over medium high heat and to this pan you're going to add about three to four tablespoons of oil. Make sure your fire is on medium heat and what you're going to do now is you're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic and give that a nice stir. going to add your marinated beef pieces you're going to allow them to fry for about 10 minutes on medium heat Okay guys, so here are our fresh broccoli and carrots that we boiled earlier. What we're going to do now is we're going to add that to the pan of beef. Here's our beef. We're going to add the broccoli to this and the carrots. Last but not least, we're going to add our gravy. And that cornstarch that we added earlier is going to allow this to thicken up, guys.
You're gonna cut that off. And there you have it, beef and broccoli. Gravy is nice and thick too. Mm. really really good it tastes delicious um i hope you guys like this recipe and you can definitely eat this on the side with some rice we're going to plate this now okay guys let's plate this with our ghetto infamous paper plate okay guys so we're going to add our rice mm. stained white rice stained white rice stained white rice <laughs> And we're going to get our beef and broccoli. I said we're going to get our beef and broccoli. Okay. And we're going to add this to the plate of rice. And this all I'm going to give you. Okay. I'll give you a little gravy right there. Like that. And I, okay. I'll give you a little more. A little more. I'll give you a little more right there. Okay. And then i give you... I give you more beef right there, okay? And that's it. Don't don't ask for no more. Don't ask for no more. You want more? Yeah, you want more? That's dollar fifty more. That's dollar fifty more. You want more? Be pockly. That's dollar fifty more. It's dollar fifty more. It's dollar fifty more. <laughs> that's where the Chinese folk be in Philadelphia. We ask for more beef. Like, come on, man, give us some more beef and broccoli, man. They be like, dollar fifty more. You want more? Gotta pay dollar fifty more. But see, when you make it yourself, you don't gotta pay a dollar fifty more. Okay? You can add more broccoli. Cause see, I'm a broccoli man. I love broccoli. Mm, 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 mm. Broccoli is my favorite part of this dish. I know y'all black folks, y'all meat eaters. Especially black brothers, black men. Y'all love meat, right? Black sisters, y'all like meat too. But I like vegetables. I'm a vegetable eater. I like the vegetables. It's my favorite part of it. I hope you guys enjoy this dish. Um, I made it three times before. It's one of my newer recipes. So I just kind of became familiar with it. But I, I liked it. I hope you guys like it too. And that's how you make beef and broccoli. Peace. Simple, simple.